Hey, this is Flo and welcome back to the Widget Kit course. In this part, I will show you how to let the system so iOS know that the user is currently interacting with your app, which then basically means that iOS can suggest the user your widget even though they are not actively using it. So for example, if your user is currently looking at a specific stock symbol, like in our case, since we're working with the stocks app, and he always does that around noon, then your system, um, then you can give your system the ability to suggest your user your stocks widget every day at around noon, even though they are not, um, even though they haven't added the stocks widget to their home screen. To do this, there is actually a great session in DC 2021, and we're basically just going over the code here, and I'm showing you how to use this in the stocks app. Okay, so if you want to, you can just search for the video Donate Intents and expand your app's presence in the developer app or on the developer website for all of the WWDC videos. But we will just go over the code very briefly. Okay, so let's get back into Xcode. If you remember, then inside of our widget, we have an intent definition for our configuration intent. And this configuration intent is what allows the user to configure the widget. So in our case, to set a custom stock symbol, which they want to be displayed. Now, in order to um, donate intents to the system, which is the way to let the system know that the user is using the app, we first of all um, need to have our intent in our main app target like this. So you definitely need to have this check mark here. And then here we also need to say intent is eligible for series suggestions. And then in the suggestions area down here, we need to um, add a supported combination of our parameters. It's very easy in our case because we only have one parameter. Just select it, hit add supported combination like this. Now we can select it here, write a summary and a description then we can also choose a default image, for example, your app icon or whatever. And then this would be shown when the intent is shown to the user. Okay, now we can go into our actual app. As you remember, this is a very simple app, so I'm just in the content view model. You can do this anywhere with a bit more context. For the sake of this video, I will just, um, first of all, make this all a bit larger and then hide the right hand side here. I will just create a function called donate intent, which you can then call whenever you want to, to donate an intent to the system. To use all of this, we also need to import intents like this. Okay, now we can create an intent. So let's say let intent equal configuration intent. That's the name of our intent definition. Okay, now we can say intent dot custom symbol equals a custom symbol. Let's just use a simple initializer here. So one with an identifier of let's say AAPL and the display name of Apple. So we could, for example, call this function when the user taps on the Apple stocks data, for example. Okay. Now there's actually only one more thing to do to create an interaction and to donate this intent to the system. So let's say let interaction equal in interaction like this. Then we can just um, use this easy uh, initializer. We can just pass in the intent that we want to donate and then for the response, let's just pass it nil for now. You can play around with this later if you want to. And now to actually donate our intent, we just have to say interaction dot donate. All right, now we get a completion block here with a potential error and you could handle this error here. You could, for example, say if let error equals error, so it's not nil then you should handle it. You can also just print it out. Okay. And this is actually all that you need to do to donate an intent to the system.
once again, right now, AAPL and Apple is hard-coded. In your actual app, you should get that data from somewhere, for example, when the user taps on one widget or does a specific action. Okay. Next up, let's look at how you can actually delete these intents. You might want to do this because you're saying, oh, um, maybe I shouldn't have donated it, maybe the user only once did this, or whatever the reason may be. So to donate the intent, you need to also give the interaction an identifier. So let's say interaction.identifier equals AAPL interaction. This should be unique, obviously, so maybe you should add a timestamp there or whatever it may be, and then save this identifier somewhere persistently in your app so you can access it once again later on. And now to remove this intent, we can just say in interaction dot delete with identifier. We can pass in an array here, but we just want to delete this one interaction. So just pass in the identifier of the interaction here. And then we once again have a completion block where we could handle a potential error. So let me just copy the error handling from up here, paste it into the delete function, and that's already it. So let me go over it real briefly. You first of all create the intent that you need for your widget configuration and that the user is actually basically doing right now and that you want the system to suggest as a widget. So in our case, the configuration intent then we set the custom symbol to a custom symbol instance. We create an IN interaction with the intent that we just created. We can optionally give it an identifier and then just donate our intent. This is all the code that we need and then the deletion is even simpler. Okay, that's it with the video. If you liked it, please make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye.